Hello again. In the year 2022 to 2023, 234,400 new homes were built in England. During that same period, between June 2022 and June 2023, the population of Britain rose by 700,000, almost all of whom settled in England. One does not need to have more than a rudimentary grasp of mathematics to see that this will greatly exacerbate any existing shortage of affordable accommodation for people. You see how it goes. 234,000 new homes and 700,000 new people. Many of us have family members or friends who are suffering from this crisis. Of course, when most of us see a dreadful crisis, some unscrupulous foreigners sent an opportunity to make money. They do this by buying a dilapidated and run-down house and then converting it into what is known in the trade as a house in multiple occupation, or HMO for short. Such properties have at least three tenants living there, forming more than one household, and these occupants share bathroom or kitchen facilities with other tenants. This kind of thing, houses split up into bedsits and so on, used to be common 50 or 60 years ago, but became less so throughout the 80s and 90s. Mass immigration has meant their resurgence. It is the only way that the hundreds of thousands of people coming to live here from abroad can possibly be squeezed into this country. One of the curious things which we notice is that the rogue landlords who cram as many people as is humanly possible into uh, cramped and unsanitary living conditions are, almost without exception, foreigners. Often they are preying on their own fellow countrymen. For instance, an Albanian will own a rundown property and fill it with bunk beds and mattresses which are rented to Albanian immigrants, many of whom are here illegally. This is a tradition which has been going on for over a century. It's very popular in East London uh, Jewish areas in the early part of the 20th century, places like Stepney and Whitechapel. I dare say that most viewers will be familiar with the word Rachmanism to describe this kind of thing. Peter Rachman was a Polish guy who ran some terrible rented accommodation in Notting Hill in the late 1950s and early 1960s. Many of these properties were inhabited by West Indian immigrants. It's an odd thing that almost all those involved in this kind of racket are and always have been foreigners. I saw a recent example of this breed recently in the London borough of Newham, what we used to call East Ham. In the description to this video I give a link to the case. It seems that a fellow called Jahangir Hussein has been fined £10,000 and banned from renting out properties in the future. There are strict regulations these days about conditions for houses in multiple occupation, things like fire escapes, gas checks and so on. Some foreigners though think they can buy the coach and horses through the law and simply stuff as many people into a house as it will take. As I say, some rooms in places like that contain bunk beds and mattresses on the floor and can mean that there are six people living in each room of a house. Don't even get me started on beds in sheds. Just another of those features of life in inner cities which large-scale immigration has brought to this country.